Let's yeah. get that forecast now. That's wonderful. Yeah, a couple of great stories right yes, there. Yes, indeed. Right? That's what it's all I, about. Special for those officers too to go back and just you stay in touch. And then ten years later, and the badge number and the time. I know, right? That was what great. Are the odds of that? That's great. How about phenomenal. That? Okay, so let me get you out the door. I got a few things we're going to talk about all week long. We've been saying the pick day of the week is going to be Thursday. Well, that remains. It is tomorrow, looking like a beautiful day. We have some rain chances though. They're going to return past that on Friday. And Saturday, although Saturday really starting to look a little bit more improved. I'm going to show it to you in a second and then get ready, not only for some cooler temperatures, but our first frost next week. That's going to be pretty likely on Tuesday. All right, so for tomorrow, your morning commute, no weather related problems like it has been. We're going to have a chill to the air, 40s out the door in the morning. We'll keep it in the 40s through about 8 or 9 o'clock, and then the numbers rebound. I'm giving you the A for the bus stop forecast, a great October. Day. I mean, 65 degrees by noon, tons of sunshine, winds fairly light, some clouds kicking in in the second half of the day, high temperature probably right around 70 degrees or so. So we'll say 67 to 70 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but we are dry all day. So I want to start your future cast, talk about our next weather maker. We're going to go 24 hours from now. Again, clouds increase a little bit tomorrow. It's a great day, no problems for you. We get into Friday morning. I'll pause this. This is brand new future cast data, and basically we're tracking. Two parts of this storm. The first part impacts us on Friday. The farther east you are, the greater chance you have of the showers, greater chance you have of a thunderstorm as well. And it's because of this coastal system that's going to be pumping up this rainfall, often on showers, and that includes I 95 and Philadelphia throughout the morning. Once again, the farther west you are, the less chance you have. The farther east you are, the more that you'll see. Now, this is not a washout on Friday. Here's a look at noon, and notice we have some clouds, we have some breaks. It will be kind of one of those things, especially in the morning, often on showers, then a little bit of a lull into the afternoon before we get another wave that comes in here on Friday night. So, often on showers for Friday. Now, watch what happens on Saturday. This is part two of the storm. The first part's that coastal low, the second part is the cold front itself. And there's just not going to be a ton of moisture to work with with the cold front part of this. So on Saturday, our updated futurecast has light hit and miss showers, light, more miss than hit. I think this may be a little underdone, but still, I would not cancel plans on Saturday. Know that there's that chance of some rainfall, but a lot of this looks to come in on Friday. Now, when the cold front sweeps through, that will all taper off by Saturday evening, 63. We get into Sunday. 57 degrees with the wind. It's going to be in the mid 40s there uh, down at the link for that Eagles game. And then look at Monday and Tuesday, mm. Tuesday specifically, 38 degrees in the morning. First 30s of the season. Over to you.